Good morning, Tesla family. It's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I'm going to be talking about the one and only Tesla stock and give you guys a pre market update real quick. Before I say anything, let me just note that I am not a financial planner. And also, don't forget about the Weeble link down below in the description. Deposit any amount of money and you're guaranteed up to 12 free stocks. Anyways, when it comes to Tesla, it's down about 1.7% in the pre-market, dropping even more. As we had some negative news to start off this morning, and there is some downward pressure from the overall market. But let me just remind you guys that... Uh, at about 10 30 a.m eastern time we have some oil data coming out it's not going to be super super significant compared to the fomc minutes but it's still worth noting that the market could have a small reaction to that we have waller speaking at about 12 10 p.m then at two o'clock p.m eastern time everything i just said is an eastern time by the way we have the fomc minutes and that's going to be very very important now, to add on to that, uh, there's been a lot of news about the FSD beta and the autopilot, and it's been very, very negative about it. They're saying that the U.S. has a real concern about the autopilot. That's some negative news about Tesla, and many politicians got in the way who are saying some similar things. Now, they oftentimes have agendas and different intentions, but I just want to note that this was negative news, and the media is once again trying to get Tesla to fall. Now, on top of that, Xbox, I believe, reported its earnings and it was not the best of earnings. And this is having an effect on the consumer discretionaries and many EVs out there. As a result, we're seeing lots of EVs move very similarly. And this is affecting Tesla alongside many other stocks out there simultaneously. Now, on top of that, uh, Elon Musk has come out and he said that he's looking for another uh, factory for Tesla. And potentially, India is going to likely be one of the biggest targets now there's no guarantee it's going to be india but elon musk did visit india they are looking through it they are, they are like prospecting over there and if this news does come out one day that they announce a new gigafactory there that's going to be bullish for the company but for now it's not confirmed last but not least don't forget about the debt ceiling there were some positive articles yesterday between mccarthy and biden but we're getting some very negative news today as you know the news is claiming that there hasn't been you know too much progress they're not going too well so make sure you watch these levels carefully and make sure you pay attention to the news because this could affect the markets quite negatively now anyways let's talk about where on earth tesla could bounce we have this imbalance right here in the overall volume and the net flow when there's an imbalance in the net flow typically you're going to see the algorithms take over and they, they're going to likely start buying uh, i'm sorry they, they're going to likely try to drop the price to where this level is to balance the price action right just like right here for example there's an imbalance right here right we had this small little candle and boom we push up and then the algos came back to push it right back down to balance this net volume right that's one example of it but the same thing's happening right over here around this 180 level and then there's also another one down here around 176. So what do I see for Tesla? Those are going to be the two major levels to watch for. We're going to be watching 180. Uh, there's a lot of bearish momentum right now, so it's going to likely drag Tesla a little bit lower. Watch 180 very, very carefully. Should try to bounce around this 180 to 180.5 area. But if that fails because of the negative momentum on SPY in the QQQ right now, they all have very negative momentum to start off the day on the hourly and 30 minute time frames. The next major level is going to be like either the high 170s or like 175 to 176.3, which is where uh, this imbalance happens to be. So make sure you watch those levels very carefully on Tesla. If it does bounce, all of these support zones become resistance. Uh, and also 185 becomes resistance, not to mention these higher levels up here into the high 180s. And we're also going to be gapping down. So watch that gap very carefully if we do end up breaking above where we open. Okay, so watch all these levels very carefully. I'm going to be eyeing a bounce either around 180 if it fails, and it could go down to like 175 to 176.3, somewhere around there. We should see buyers step in around those levels. Make sure you pay attention to the news because this will affect how Tesla moves and you remain calm, cool, and collected. All right, thank you all for listening. Have an absolutely spectacular day. Good luck trading. Tesla to the moon alongside the market. The long term is very, very bright. And don't forget, guys, I will have another video in a couple of hours about Tesla and many other stocks. All right, thank you. Get ready, guys. Thank you so much. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you and peace out.